My name is Angela. Hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. I'll introduce my friends to you. Oh, no, it's Minnie Pooh. Shooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela. And you are not the net man war is a stuff of your best heart. And now to today's story, starring me and not starring the net man war. <laughs> Angela, where you think Brinks is? How should I know, Johnny Abadi, my dim best friend? I got bigger things to worry about, like not picking my rainforest project, because who could think of anything when you have to have breakfast at my house? Mom, they took all the fruit again and didn't leave me any milk either. Did someone say milk? <laughs> A good one. <laughs> Attention students in room nine. Your teacher, Mrs. Brinks, is ill and will not be coming in today. Dispense with the revelry. Your substitute teacher will be in shortly. Um, what are we supposed to do with our homework? <laughs> Whatever we want. How immature. <laughs> Good idea, Johnny Abadi. See, Angela, I'm putting gum on it for extra weight, like a stealth bomber. Uh-oh. Anyone here named Angela? That's Angela right there. Thanks, Johnny. Hmm. <laughs> Howdy, kids. Guess I'm your sub. Geraldine Klump's the name, but you can call me Jerry. Excuse me, Miss Klump, but as class monitor, I feel it is my duty to inform you of today's academic agenda, as a regretfully ailing Mrs. Brinks would have wanted. Is that so? Well, I'm the one who's teaching today, dearie, so don't trouble yourself. It's no trouble for me, Miss Clump. I'm fully prepared to go over last night's homework assignment. I'm also prepared, unlike some students, to announce the topic of my rainforest project, the scandalous shortage of crocodile. Well, now that's a topic a girl could sink her teeth into. What's your angle, hon? I plan to focus on the shortage of crocodile in handbags, keels, and other fashion accoutrements due to the hideous international trade ban protecting those disgusting reptiles. <sighs> Young lady, that's not a project. That's a peck full of poppycock. <gasps> She's a teacher? I know. I'll do a project about rainforest food from the rainforest. I already called dibs on it, Angela Anaconda. I'm especially excited about my chapter on Amazon Crunch, a delicious, high-protein snack that is available at your local grocers. You could always do cannibals. I'll have the crepe nanette with a side of mashed derrick and some macaroni and cheese. Tempting, but I'll pass. Hey, can I have it for the necklace I'm making? I want it to be just like the ones the headhunters wear. Angela, this he taken? Are you talking to me? Never forget a face full of freckles. Yoo-hoo, Miss Plump. There's plenty of room at the popular kids' table. Fine right here, Missy. Thanks. Holy cow, a gal could lose a tooth eating this. Know where I can get any pizza around here? Excuse me, Miss Clump, but perhaps you'd like to have some of my kapamaki, which is Japanese for cucumber roll. Ah, uh, no thanks, Janet. It's Nanette. My name is Nanette. Sorry, kid. First day. Hmm. I've been around headhunters made me feel less jumpy than those three. <laughs> You've been around headhunters for real? Yeah, once or twice. Not a nice bunch of guys, but I wouldn't recommend them for a haircut. Hey! Me and Johnny have a treehouse that we made that looks just like this. Well, then there's your project. Hey, yeah! Hey! You took my popsicle stick collection. Tell Dad to invent some glue that only sticks to where you want it to stick to. Right, King? Down, girl! Down! Whoops! Okay. <laughs> Good one. Now 
all I need is straw for the roof. Thanks, Scamper. I owe you one. Good morning, Miss Clum. I brought you these beautiful flowers and had our private chef Alfredo prepare this basket of gourmet delicacies especially for you. I do hope you like pâté, which is French for... pâté. Sorry, Toots, but I'm strictly vegetarian. And I haven't been able to look at a gladiola since Great Aunt Augusta passed. Thanks anyway, Annette. It's Nanette. My name is Nanette. Hello, Mr. Brinks. Is Miss Brinks in? <gasps> to think someone ate all those popsicles. Be careful. It's still wet. Hey, I'm stuck. I told you not to touch it. No, uh You said it's still wet. What is all the fuss about? Angela's treehouse made out of popsicle sticks. Pretty impressive, huh? You call that impressive? Angela's house of germs from popsicles that have been in people's mouths? Ew! Gross! Let's get out of here before we catch some dreadful disease. Coming, John? Ow! <laughs> now look what you did! You ruined my endangered crocodile shoes! <laughs> My stilt house that I worked on and worked on. And now it looks like I didn't do my project. Don't worry, Angela. Jerry will let you fix it. Remember? It's not like Mrs. Brinks. Angela Anaconda, this is your seventh tardy this month. But, Mrs. Brinks? It's only Monday the 5th. Oh, no, Mrs. Brinks. It's, oh, yes, Mrs. Brinks to you, miss. Thanks, I might add, to the curative powers of Nanette Manoir's superb pâté. It was my pleasure, Mrs. Brinks. Too bad the joyous occasion of your return has been marred by all this gluey debris everywhere. It's not gluey debris, it's my rainforest project. Very funny, young lady. Now clean up this mess immediately. Oh. Can I use Ninny Pooh's mop head for a mop? Ninawatha of the Dimwits is feeding her beloved Mrs. Franks again. Allow me, Angela of the Amazon, to officially welcome you to the rainforest. Uh-oh. Did someone say rain? The drum is our friend. It tells my little native pals to seek higher ground in times of torrential downpours. But I almost forgot. Little Nin and Mrs. Brinks don't speak drum. They're too busy trying to speak French, which they don't know either. Angela, Angela, save us! You will tell me, this raging river is ruining our crocodile cha-cha heel. One thing I neglected to tell you, my soggy former teacher and her wet pet, when you're in the Amazon, it helps to have friends in high places. There you go, Angela, whose name I remember on account of she has lots of freckles like me. <gasps> Never fear, Jerry is here. Whoops. Dang, here we're trying to send you banana leaf rescue rockets to save you, and we end up knocking you right into the raging river. Isn't that just a darn shame, huh, Angela? Now their only hope is if the crocodiles whose relatives they have used for shoes decide to help them or not. Oh no! Our friends are in danger! Jolly good, much obliged. When you've finished here, you can take yourself straight to the principal's office, miss. The principal will see you now. Oh. Jerry! What are you doing here? Substitute principal? He must have come down with the same thing as Brinks. Personally, I think they got it from eating those mini subs. So, what you in for, hon? Mrs. Brinks didn't like my project, or what's left of it. I think you're supposed to punish me. Punishment is an unfortunate construct of Western civilization, hon. I don't believe in it. But revenge? Now there's a whole other thing. Attention. 
The class monitor and teacher of room nine will report to the supply room immediately to begin the annual inventory of paper clips, rubber bands, and vacuum cleaner bags. All other children in Mrs. Brinks' class, please report to the playground. Um, except January and Carlene. Who can go help their friend Croquette? <laughs> Somebody named Jerry order a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Today is library day. The day our class goes to the library so each of us can pick out our own book. How about watching where you walk, Angela Anaconda? Now there's a novel idea. <laughs> <laughs> Dare to be a goddess. Excuse me, that's obviously mine. And since I'm certain there are no books on brain replacement therapy in the beauty and glamour section, may I suggest you vamus, which is French for clear the aisle. I'm using it as a runway. A runway? Like for airplanes? Yeah! Try for models, as in fashion models. Those glamorous people other people only wish they could be. I wish I could be you, Nanette. Notice how my head and shoulders are perfectly aligned? Natural beauty without good posture is like a diamond without the proper platinum setting. I wish I could be you even more. It was my idea, January. So, you want to come over? We got a new flavor of multinational coffee. <laughs> I can't, Gina Lash. I'm working. My mom got her very first sculpturing job, and she hired me to be her official sculpture assistant. Sounds impressive. Child labor laws notwithstanding, that is. You can say that again, Gina Lash. If it weren't my own life, I'd be jealous. If Nanette keeps that up, her head's going to get flat. <gasps> anyway, who would ever want Ninny Wart for a model? Especially when there are classic shapes like ours to choose from. <laughs> well, have a good weekend, Angela Anaconda. You too, Gina Lash. Mom, I'm home. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. When do we start? As soon as you want. Our model just arrived. Hello, Angela. Nanette, what are you doing here? I'm here for my modeling session. What else? You mean you're making a statue of her? That's right. I've been hired by the Manoirs. And your mother tells me you're going to be my little assistant. <laughs> Here's the air purifier you requested, Nanette. Hmm. Let's see. Yes. Why, Miss Anaconda, I never would have guessed from knowing your daughter that you'd be such a talented artiste. That's French for artist. Thank you for that most interesting lesson, Nanette. Now I will do everything in my power to forget it. <clears throat> oh, Angela, dear. You know I'm not supposed to move, so be a doll and fetch me another glass of water, would you? Does she really need to be here, Mom? <clears throat> of course she does. She's my model. <clears throat> oh, Angela! Oh, this stinks. On second thought, make that a glass of milk. It's important for us models to maintain strong cheekbones. Oh, and Angela, this time, a clean glass? I'll get King to wash it for you. Jiminy Christmas. It's probably some really horrible disease that's really contagious. Maybe we should call the Manoirs and tell Nanette not to come over. Oh, it's just fruity flakes. But, but, Mom! Mom! I think King stop, please! And with Nanette and her sensitive skin coming over, I think it's going to be a problem. No problem at all. Out you go, girl. But Mom... Oh, no, she's here. Toodles, Mother. Thanks ever so. Pass your perfect pressure. And don't forget to... <gasps> oh, dear heavens, I broke a nail. Sorry, Nanette Mamoir, but something unexpected's come up. And it looks as though my mother... Oh, look! 
It's my mom. Oh, hello, Nanette. Come in before you get, please. Thank you, Angela. And please, try not to wrinkle my belongings. And please try not to wrinkle my belongings. So in an effort to remain as still as possible, I've brought over this little bell that I can ring every time I need you to bring me something. For instance, fetch me a cold glass of orange juice. And please, no pulp. And don't forget a clean glass. Oh, Angela, you know I'm not supposed to move. So can you please come and scratch my nose? After you've washed your hands. <laughs> How can someone call herself a model when her parents are paying for her to be one? That's what I'd like to know. Did you use soap? <laughs> yeah! I can't go back in there, Dad. The net's taken over the whole house. Come on, Angel Wings. You know how much this commission means to your mother. I know. What's this? Some kind of necklace? It's a mobile retriever. Kind of like Baby Lulu's nursery monitor, but for pets. If a dog gets loose from its master, all you have to do is call it back with this. Sort of a doggy talkie. <laughs> Good one, Angel Wings. And nothing soothes a pet quite like the calm, reassuring sound of its master's voice. Oh, Angela, I'm ready for my ice cream. Here, Angela. Here, girl. <laughs> oh. At least there's still one place that Nanoodle can't get to. My bedroom. <gasps> what are you doing here? I'm taking a break? You have no idea how exhausting it is just standing there being beautiful. But this is my room! Then I assume this is your diary? <gasps> Where did you find this? Just lying around in the closet behind a bureau in a box under lock and key. You really should be more careful. And by the way, if those are the highlights of your life, I suggest you try your hand at fiction. Why don't you try your hand at minding your own business, Nanette Manure, who thinks she is a model but isn't? Howdy-do, Ninkum Ninny Poo. Welcome to my studio. So you are going to be a model. The first thing you will want to do is practice your posture. Allow me. Here, since my private diaries that are filled with so many famous grown-up things I have done are over your head, let's put them over your head. Vanity, thy name must definitely be Nanity. All this practicing to be the perfect model has made you more bent over than before. Angela, Angela, pick me up. You will beg me. Help me to be posture perfect like a real model, even though I am definitely not one. Fear not, oh slouching one. I have just the stuff to keep you standing straight and tall. This plaster of Paris, which is French, like you are not, will keep you stiff as a board while I mold you into a beautiful statue. Oh no! Now none of those fine French fashions will fit you, giant nin. I guess I'll just have to use my skills as an assistant sculptor to whittle you down to size. Whoops! Guess I was so busy getting you things, I didn't learn as much about sculpting as you probably would have liked, Nano Ninny. But don't fret, tiny unfrench one. Your pompous parents' town car could sure use an attractive hood ornament. Enjoy the ride, but careful! be driving through a swarm of yucky bugs. Oh, Ninny dear, queen of clean. We can't possibly leave you splattered with dead mosquito carcasses all over your delicate complexion. We'll have you good as new before you can say, please don't wrinkle my belongings. What's that, Ninny Wart? Speak up! I can't hear you. Angela? Did you hear me, sweetie? Will you please see who that is? Okay, Mom. Oh, how quaint. Hola! And please, try not to wrinkle our belongings. Welcome. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. It simply won't do. It's beautiful, of course. It's on Annette. But it really should be bigger. 
It will look ridiculous in our capacious foyer, which is French for vestibule. Perhaps you should just let them keep it. It's not too small for their house. <gasps> what a charitable idea, princess. Which is French for vestibule. Hmm. Oh, well. There's no accounting for taste. Any idea where we should put it? Leave it to me. I know just the place. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Let's ask the expert. Here, girl! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 